have, as the war between Russia and Ukraine entered its 17th day. The latest satellite images issued by S Company Max are revealed that Russian forces are getting ready for a massive offensive in the Ukrainian capital city of Kyiv. The images unveiled Russian forces' activities, including armored units and towed artillery, close to the Hostomel airfield, a strategic location near Kyiv. Amid escalating war between Moscow and Kyiv, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky expressed his readiness for negotiations with Russia in Jerusalem. Zelensky said that he requested that Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett convene peace talks. The Russian forces destroyed Vasilkiv's military airfield in Vasilkiv city of Kyiv Oblast in Ukraine by dropping eight missiles. The enemy forces also destroyed a local oil depot while the fire broke out at an ammunition depot. Petro Kotin, the head of Ukraine's state-run nuclear company Enerbotum said that Russians have asked the staff at Ukraine's Operation nuclear power plant to follow the orders of the Russian state Atomis Energy Corporation Rosatom. The Kyiv Independent, Ukraine's media outlet in a tweet said, Russia brings 11 engineers to Zoporizhia nuclear power plant. Petro Kotin, the head of Ukraine's state-run nuclear company Enerbotum, said that Russian occupiers told the plant staff that they must follow the orders of the Russian state Atomis Energy Corporation Rosatom. Zelensky spoke with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and the French President Emmanuel Macron and sought help for the release of the mayor of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov. Earlier, Melitopol mayor was seen on video being led away from a government building in the city by armed men. In a retaliatory move, Russia will publish individual sanctions against the West in the near future. I block test why.